Next up, we got reading defenses post-snap. Now, again, being able to read defenses pre-snap is great, especially at a beginner to even intermediate level. But again, once you climb the ladders and get to up to get up to more advanced, intermediate to uh, higher level competition, advanced level players, you know, they're going to be able to disguise their coverages really well. And sometimes even at the beginner stage, uh, you know, reading the seeing the defense pre-snap is not always going to tell the full story. Again, it's a really good start, but uh, you want to be reading the defenses pre-snap, but also post-snap. So I'm going to kind of teach you guys in this one, uh, you know, what to kind of look for a post-snap in terms of reading the defense. So again, look here at the nickel 55 wide. So we got cover three buzz and we got three Samuel blitz. Uh, so there are even stock plays where uh, cover three is going to show too high, uh, but it's, and as we talked about in the previous video, again, the general rule of thumb is, uh, it's a single high for cover three, but there are some st even stock plays, uh, where a cover three is going to keep too high. Uh, so let's come out on the cover three buzz. So you know what I mean? So you see here, we come out on the cover three buzz and it's going to show too high and you know, this might give the illusion that it's, uh, that it's, uh, you know, a cover two or a cover four. But again, this is one of those few plays, cover three plays where it is covered. It comes out with too high. Uh, so that's why it's going to be critical to also read the defense post snap. So, and what I recommend is reading one half of the field. Uh, so you don't want your eyes uh, when you snap the ball to be all over the field. You know, you're going to, you know, if you get blitz, you know, you're just going to get sacked because you, you're just trying to look at way too much. So like I always tell people, try to focus, start off focusing on one half of the field. And again, if, if the receivers on that one half of the field aren't open, then you can kind of, you know, glance over to other parts of the field. But always start with just one half of the field and and first thing you want to do when you snap the ball is either kind of identify the user because he's going to be the best player on the field or you want to be looking at just a, a really quick glance at the cornerback and the safety again a super quick glance and then you want to be going through your progressions so again here say say you know kind of pick a side that you want to start off on so again say I kind of want to start off on the on the tight end side tight end side here, you know, I feel like this route concept will get open. So focus on that one half of the field first. And again, quick glance at the cornerback and the safety. And what I saw is, that, you know, that safety kind of shot towards the middle of the field, telling me that it was an inside third. And I saw the outside cornerback, you know, drop back into, into a deep zone or like an outside third. So that right there kind of told me that it was cover three. <clears throat> again, uh, cover two obviously is going to have, uh, you know, the, the outside clouds and then the two deep halves, uh, whereas cover three, uh, it's going to have, again, the inside third and the outside third. So, uh, and when we get into, into more, you know, the purpose of or understanding each base coverage on defense or, you know, the roles of each zone, uh, you know, this would probably make a bit more sense, but <clears throat> again, this is just to kind of show you guys the importance of reading the defense post snap because again, the pre snap read can be a little tricky uh, sometimes. So again, that's why you want to be able to read, you know, the defense post snap as well. Uh, and reading the defense post snap is also important because it gives us intel for that next play. So you want to be collecting when you're in offense collecting. Uh, information every single play about the defense so you know if you see post snap that you know this guy is running cover three uh, then you might want to start thinking of going going back and saying okay man what are my cover three beaters this guy is running cover three on me so that's always the first step on offense is you know when you when you snap the ball is identifying the coverage because if you don't even know what the coverage is it's going to be really hard to attack the coverage uh, consistently <clears throat> uh, so again that's why it's important identify the coverage first and then you can kind of determine uh, you know what play calls you want to be calling so again here's a oh I didn't mean to snap that 
Well, I'll give you guys a different kind of look here on defense pre-snap. So again, I knew post-snap on the last time that was, again, cover three because, again, cover three has that inside third shooting towards the middle. And it also has an outside third. Uh, I saw post-snap last time. It kind of, you could roll out cover three or cover four because, uh, you know, cover four, you know, the guy kind of drops straight back. Whereas, again, cover three, the inside third is shooting towards the middle of the field. And also, I obviously knew it wasn't cover two because... Um, uh, this outside cornerback was dropping into a deep blue, uh, not a not a cloud. Uh, so again, here, focus on that. What's again? Focus on that right half of the field. Again, we drop back at the snap, and and I can see that it's a. Uh, I, I could see that it was cover two because the safety really gave it away here. Uh, so, you know, again, quick glance. It's a quick glance. Uh, the safety kind of gave it away here because uh, he was kind of drifting towards the right outside. Uh, and and also this outside cornerback as well. Again, it was kind of a little of, a little bit of a tough read between cover two and cover four uh, because both of these guys both were dropping back uh, far, but. You could kind of see at the end that it was a uh, that it was a cover two shell because uh, this this cloud was like dropping down, and a cover four deep blue is not going to drop down. Again, the cloud's responsibility is to kind of you know stay you know on the sidelines, you know play like corner outs and stuff like that. So and again, a cloud's going to drop down on these routes, whereas you know a, a deep blue is not.